All right, so you guys gave me great feedback about my one like a one photo series that I just started where I take you guys out in the streets of Vietnam with me and I show you my life as an expat here and I show you something that I find interesting about Vietnam. So, so today, I'm gonna take my Leica M10D here, my trusty 35 and this new beautiful camera strap from my friends over at Wotencraft and I've got my little Wotencraft leather sling bag here. I love this little bag, very stylish. And I'm going to pick up my motorcycle first. I had a new battery put in, a bunch of other stuff done. So I'm going to pick that up. So my wife and I are gonna take a grab over there, get the motorcycle, take you guys along the way. And we're gonna go visit a place called Industrial Furniture Cafe. And it's something I'm really interested in because the designer there makes industrial furniture, lamps, tables, stools, all sorts of cool little home decor things that I love. Although my place is pretty full right now, I am looking for one lamp for my room and he has a beautiful lamp and I think I'm gonna buy it today. So I'll take you guys over there. I'll show you this cloud coffee explained. We'll have my wife explain to you what it is and we'll have a fun day. Well, you can join me in Vietnam and you'll see what my life is like here in Hanoi. You said 20 minutes and then you said 20 minutes since 9. Okay, this is the whole story. Okay, when we leave here at exactly 9 and then we're ready at 9 and then you said, oh, 20 more minutes and now it's like 9.50, 40 more minutes later. 50! A very rare case in a relationship. I was, a couple things. Battery died. <laughs> Battery died on my camera while I was filming an episode. Oh, clean. Yeah. Wow, there's my bike. Royal Enfield Classic 500. All right, this is supposed to be one shot, but before we go to the industrial cafe, I saw this cool little backdrop, and I haven't taken like a really nice picture of my motorcycle. So that area behind me, I like the rusted out look to it. All right, I'm gonna try to get a wide angle shot here, sort of the edge of the building to the edge of the building with my 35. This might actually be a situation that'd be better for 50, but I've got, I've got my 35 right now. Uh, and I like the bike centered within the sort of rusty doors and edge of the frame being the brick and framed around the building quite nice. It would actually be a good spot for a wide angle portrait shot if I my wife on there, but she's got like at leisure wear on, doesn't really fit with my butt. Maybe my denim works with my helmet. We'll see, I'll see if maybe I can talk her into operating this camera, she's not great at it. She's got a good eye, but she's not great at operating this camera. I'm gonna shoot at 1.4 here, just because I want my subject to pop, my subject being the bike. I think it'll pop out nicely, even though it's so close to the background there, it'll like really, contrast with the background nice if I shoot at 1.4 we'll see I'll show you guys what that looks like I shoot 1.4 quite a bit maybe some would say I overdo it but I think in this situation it's gonna work quite well the magical moment when you teach someone how to focus for a rangefinder so one you don't want the strap around your nose you want it there so there's a little there's a little square in the middle you'll see sort of two things cross each other so if you take the end field you put it in the square when they line up you'll see two of them when you get the words to line up, that means that's in focus. I don't see you, Justin. Just down this alleyway over here is the industrial cafe, but before we go in there, they have a cool little pastry shop here that serves little tarts of sorts, and they're just like ridiculously cheap. So we tend to load up on those and they'll serve food at this place and bring those over there. And places in Vietnam are really cool with that. They'll serve food, or even if they do serve food and you bring something else, they don't mind you bringing food in most of the time. They're actually really cool with that. In America, you can't do that. You can get mad at you. Show me everything you just got. I get a uh, cold tarts and then uh, egg dessert. I'm all about egg dessert. 12 tarts, egg dessert, how much total? It's like uh, $3. <laughs> Cloud in, in Vietnamese, and um, this is like espresso 
condensed milk and um, whipping cream. So for me, I feel like this is a like an eat Midwest uh, coffee because you know condensed milk coffee. Vietnamese love condensed milk, and then it is very fluffy. Trust me, when you taste it, you do feel like you're tasting a cloud. It's very soft. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. So espresso, condensed milk, and condensed milk and whipping cream. Really good. Not too sweet. I'm just cameraman today. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, I don't love the light and the interior there, and my, my parameters for this little series are just one shot for the day. So, outside the cafe, this actually makes me sad, but it's the kind of shot I should take. But there's a bird cage here, a little bird floating around, and it's framed nicely with the buildings around it, so I want to, the clean background, have the bird, the bird's moving around a lot, so I have to take a few shots to get it right. I want the bird sort of silhouetted, but with the buildings around it. I don't know, I think it'd be kind of a cool shot. It's a sad shot because there's bird, poor birds stuck in a cage in the world. It's so around here openly and free. Alright, I think I got something. I'm conventional, but I wanted something of the bird framed with the sky in the background of the buildings. And just sort of show how he's trapped a little bit. It makes me sad, but sometimes you have to take sad photos to make you feel something. home back from industrial furniture cafe digesting my cloud coffee it was delicious uh, thank you guys for watching I'm gonna load that photo in that I promised you guys I'll give you the f-stop the ISO the shutter for people that care about that kind of stuff let me know what you think of this episode let me know what you want to see in other episodes about my life in Vietnam and, and I'd be happy to show you and I'll uh, thank you for the comments you guys everyone has been wonderful in the comment section and it's inspired us to do more of these inspired us to do this one so I appreciate that. Keep the comments coming. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And don't forget to have a wonderful day. But don't leave, because you're going to see the photograph right here. Now, beard factor. Not so bad. Not like the other, not like egg coffee, where it's going to like thick Just a light dusting. Absolutely delicious.